Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I would like to talk about mentorship. So today I will be your mentor who will help you to figure out, do you really need a mentor? And if you do, where you can find one? I will also share some tips from my own experience, how to find a mentor. And I will share with you my story about my mentor that I had when I was studying. Let's start. Sometimes I feel that people mix around understanding of teaching and mentorship. And uh, I think that it's a good idea just to clarify these two definitions. The main difference between teacher and mentor is that teacher helps you to acquire some knowledge, skills, um, competences, values, and where mentor just guides you. So if you come to me and ask me, Hey, Alina, can you help me to figure out what subjects I should study? Because I want to become a backend developer. Can you then call me your mentor? I think so. Or if you come to me and ask me to guide you uh, to prepare for your job interview, your first job interview, then I can be also your mentor. But if you ask someone, hey, there is an error on line 155, do you know why it's happening? Can you fix it? Then I would say that it's a job more for a teacher than for a mentor. Let's look at the true nature, why some people believe that they need a mentor. The first and the most common reason I believe is that when people start learning something new, then they just feel a bit confused and they don't know where to start. In this case, having a mentor would be really helpful, but luckily we live in the age of advanced technology and a lot of information is available. So if you don't have a mentor, but you would like to learn something, don't worry, you just have to commit some time and find the course that will fit exactly your needs. Second most common reason why people think that they need a mentor is when they are afraid of upcoming challenges or they think that they lack some discipline to complete the course or to finish what they started. And in this case, I believe the person like this needs more like a teacher than a mentor. The next reason and my favorite reason is that people who are looking for a mentor, they are trying to cut learning time. Oh well, that's smart, but you might spend more time looking for a mentor rather than starting learning everything by yourself without waiting for someone to come and teach you basics. The last reason that I can think of right now is that you want to have a person that you really admire and that you try to take as an example and you would like him or her to be your mentor. You will be very lucky if this person has time to mentor you, but in the case when it won't happen, then you can still spend time reading their blog, reading their books if there are any, uh, asking some questions directly to them on their social networks, and at some point all your questions will be answered. I also had a mentor, and not just one. One of them was my friend's friend, and another one was my colleague from my first job. See, I feel like it's a storytelling time, so just let me grab my tea and I will start. When I just moved to Denmark, it was six years ago, I moved here to study and at the same time I took a course on Coursera just to learn some basic HTML and CSS and JavaScript. So besides studying, I was also looking for a job because Denmark is kind of expensive-ish country, so even if you're a student, you must work. Now you probably think that it's easy for a student to find a job in Denmark. Actually it is not, not at all. I'm from Ukraine, I didn't have education from Europe, I didn't have that much experience in IT and not at all experience in coding. So unfortunately I was getting rejected on each job interview. I was almost losing all my hope to find any kind of job, but then I had a friend who had a friend who knew someone who was looking for help in his company. The company was producing books for kids to study English language and they needed someone who could do some HTML, CSS and JavaScript. It was hard for me to complete my tasks at work because I didn't have that much experience, so I had to find a mentor who would give me an idea how to solve tasks. That's why I started asking all my friends from my secondary school and high school if they knew someone who could help me. And I found so the tip number one, 
You will have more luck finding a mentor if you have a big network. If you have a lot of friends, even if they are not in IT field, even if they don't know how to code, but maybe some of them will know of someone who can help you. You can probably already figure out what is the tip number two from my story. Start doing what you want to do and don't wait until you find a mentor. You need to acquire some knowledge and skills and then when you find a mentor he will just help you to find the right direction to use this knowledge and skills. Tip number three. You should really show your passion towards what you are doing. If you are learning how to code, you can share your journey with others on social media or you can create a git repo where you will push your projects, even very small projects. It will definitely help you to keep track on your progress, but it will also attract other people. Obviously, you shouldn't just sit and wait until someone comes and offers you their mentorship because you should reach out to people and ask them questions, ask them for help, but you should pay attention how you structure your messages. Try to be nice and polite and use proper language, because if you write something like this, what do you think is the chance that someone will agree to be your mentor? Zero. In your messages, try to be more specific and ask questions that only this person can answer. So obviously you have to learn a lot about this person. Don't ask very generic questions that you can Google and don't ask very specific questions that only you can answer. For example, what language do you think I will enjoy working the most? I don't know. I don't know you. I don't know what you like. I can't answer this question. Let's take an example. Uh, let's say you are reaching out to a person who is a web developer and he is mostly working with the JavaScript and instead of writing, hey, how you doing? I want to learn how to code. Can you be my mentor? You can write something like this. Hi, I would like to learn coding. I was considering learning how to build websites or native apps, but I have not decided yet. So first you have to do some kind of research and figure out what you can actually build, what you would probably enjoy working with. Why did you choose to be a web developer? Have you thought about making native apps instead? So this is the kind of a way around to ask, should I go for web development or for native app development? Could you please share why did you choose JavaScript over PHP, for example, because both of them are used to build websites. In this way, you are asking what language I should choose because this person made his or her choice and maybe it will also help you to choose the language that you will work with. Try to ask as many people as possible because when you have one opinion, it's great, but if you have many, then you can compare them and it will help you to make your own choice. Also, a very important point, think about what you can offer another person in return for mentoring you. This person will spend his or her time on you. Unfortunately, there is not that many charity workers in IT field, so you should think about what advantages you have. The one that always works is money. You can always pay your mentor for his time, but in case when you don't have money, then you can think of some skills that you got. For example, you are good at Photoshop. So you can offer your mentor to edit his or her pictures for his blog or maybe cut his video for YouTube and they will teach you Java, for example. Or if you live in a big city, you can, for example, offer to walk their dogs or just anything that you can come up with. You can also offer to work on a project for free. But it will work only in the case when you actually have some skills, but you are lacking experience. Yes, you will work for free. It's not that nice, but you will get much more in return, which is experience. With my mentor, he was helping me with JavaScript and I was helping him with English. And it worked very fine. I know that there are some websites where people just uh, offer their mentorship. It's not for free. You have to pay. But um, if you are desperate, and you really need some help. Sometimes, for example, half an hour can be enough to get some feedback. Maybe it's worth to try. I will share the links in the description below so you can check them out later. 
Another way to find the mentor is to attend some meetups or conferences and just build your network and then ask few people for help. I hope that you find this video useful and if you got more ideas how to find the mentor that I haven't mentioned, please share them in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.